Hello Hurricane fans and welcome back to those of you joining us on our YouTube station here at GSW Athletics or online at gswcanes.com. We're joined today by the head men's basketball coach, Mike Leader. Uh, coach, thanks for the time here. Um, haven't had a chance to catch up this year, so there's a lot to talk about. Uh, Hurricanes are off to a fantastic start this year, 9-3 and three as we sit here today, 2-1 and one in the Peach Belt Conference. Um, a lot of games already in, but in, in general, could you give us a, maybe a little bit of an overview on what uh, what's happened to this point in the season with the Hurricanes and this terrific start that the guys have had? Like I said, Keith, we're 9-3 and three and we've gotten off to the best start uh, we've had since we've made the move to Division II uh, five years ago. Uh, we've been able to blend seven new guys into the program pretty quickly. Uh, they've, they've bought into what we want to teach defensively. They shared the ball very, very well on offense. Uh, and because of that, we, we've played very well. Our three losses are to NCAA Division One opponents, Auburn, Kennesaw State, and we lost a nationally ranked team uh, at home in South Carolina Aiken. So we think we've played some pretty good basketball. Uh, we've beaten some quality teams. We've lost to some good teams, but overall we're, we're very excited with the 9-3 and three start. Looking at a lot of newcomers, uh, very um, uh, sp spread out scoring, which has kind of got to be great. A different, there could be a different leader every night as far as on the point side of things. Uh, if you take into account Matt Shaw, who's coming back from an injury, I believe there's six Hurricanes that are averaging uh, double-figure points right now. Um, you know how how I guess it's kind of obvious that you you the, the spreading of the wealth is always a good thing. But what can you tell us a little bit about the the different styles of play? Maybe some of the different strengths of the guys on the team that helps to uh, to to have a night where you could you know if somebody's having a down night, there's so many other guys that can pick up the slack. Well, like you said, we have six guys averaging double figures. We've played uh, 12 games this year, and we've had six different leading scores. So the, the one strength we have as a team is we all, uh, they're, they're very, very unselfish, um, and they understand that the ball has to go inside first to Phillip Brown. And when Phillip has the ball, good things generally happen, not only for Phillip all the time, to, for, for his teammates as well. His ability uh, to command the double team in the post uh, allows an opening for one of his perimeter teammates. And as those guys on the perimeter play, they're very, very unselfish. And I think one of the strengths we have offensively is, is the guy's willingness to pass up good shots for great shots. Yeah, outstanding. It's um, it's all the newcomers. You know, the, the, with this kind of start at this point in the season, what's been your who or what has been your biggest surprise? If you would have you wouldn't have seen it coming, maybe uh, if I had talked to you in the preseason. I think our ability to defend. Uh, that's a hard thing to get seven guys, uh, new guys that we've that we've kind of brought together uh, that haven't played together before, and, and the trust that they have for each other defensively is something that usually takes a little bit longer. Uh, to develop. They, they've come up very quickly uh, in, in buying into some of the concepts that we have team defensively and rebounding the ball. So I think that the biggest surprise is, is how far along we are defensively. Um, and the, the, the pleasant surprise and the thing you hope for as a coach is that you can get guys uh, to believe in playing unselfishly and they've done that on the offensive end. So uh, I'm just thrilled that they've, they've embraced the things that, that we think are important, that they have, they've taken that to heart and, and they, they embody everything that we want to be as a basketball program, I think that's why we've gotten off to such a good start. Great, and uh, not only in the wins and losses, a couple of milestones that the Hurricanes reached, and I'm maybe even missing some, but uh, most recently, Philip Brown named Peach Bell Conference Player of the Week, uh, the fourth Hurricane to receive the honor since we turned uh, Division II, NCAA Division II back in the 06-07 season. So uh, congratulations to Philip. Also, with the win against Georgia College, that was uh, kind of two things, two-pronged. First of all, was our first win uh, uh, or the last team in the Peach Belt Conference that we had yet to defeat at that point. Um, so that was a, a nice to – everyone's been checked off the list now, as well as uh, really the first time that we've beat uh, the Bobcats since 1998, so uh, 12 years in the making. So that was um, – this thing is just keeps rolling along. And as it rolls along, a couple of important games coming up, uh, three games at home. So we're hoping to, I would uh, to take advantage of this uh, home cooking. Can you talk to us a little bit? We got Francis Marion Saturday, 1.30, 3.30, the men at 3.30. Uh, UNC Pembroke on Sunday and then North Georgia on Wednesday. What uh, what do you see coming out of this stretch? What what do we need to do? Well, the the thing that concerns me about the two games this weekend are the the size and the depth that both Francis Marion and North Carolina Pembroke have. Uh, they're 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 big across the front line. They have a lot of guys that can play. I think that the other side of the league is a little bit better than ours this year. So I think anytime you can go and we have to play on the east side, I think the east teams are a little bit deeper than anybody that we have on the west. So I think that it's anytime you're crossing over, uh, we're going to have a difficult time just with the size and the depth. Hopefully we'll get Matt Shaw back off of injury soon. Uh, so those two teams will bring us a, a lot of post presence, a lot of size, and a lot of good players, and we have to turn around and play on back-to-back -back days, which we haven't done uh, with the
the exception of one time this year. So hopefully we can we can bounce back after a physical game on on Saturday to turn around and play on Sunday afternoon against two very good teams. Both teams are ten and three right now, uh, and, and there'll be quality opposition Wednesday night against North Georgia, an old NAI rival. Uh, a lot of history between the two programs. Uh, Coach Marksdale uh, was uh, graduated from North Georgia and played at North Georgia. Uh, Randy Dunn, their longtime coach, athletic director, worked here as an assistant. Uh, so there, there's been a lot of there, there were a lot of ties, you know, historically when we were NAI. Now that we're both in the Peach Belt, uh, it's been a a rivalry over the years, and hopefully we'll have a uh, a good crowd not only for this weekend, but then when we play Wednesday night in the Storm Dome uh, against North Georgia. Absolutely, encourage all fans to come out. And uh, if you haven't had a chance to watch the Hurricanes play this season, you've missed a lot, and uh, you need to come on out and watch them this weekend. Uh, get behind our Hurricanes, also. Of course, the most important milestone, perhaps, that I've missed um, was the fact that the, the Hurricanes received votes in the national poll this last week. Um, first time in school history as a part of an NCAA franchise. So um, big big things are happening in the men's basketball program. Coach Leader, um, best of luck over this stretch and the rest of the way. Hopefully we'll talk again. And uh, thanks for the time today. Appreciate it. And again, if you haven't had a chance, Saturday, Sunday, both 3.30 starts for the men, 1.30 for the women. And then uh, next Wednesday, you can find all the information on gswcanes.com. Coach, until next time, uh, good luck. Okay, Keith, thank you.